In today's video, part three of the pistol guides, so let's just jump straight into it and talk about controllers, because those are the ones that I feel like many people just get straight up wrong. Remember, those pistol round buys guide, guides or like advice that I have here are just my opinion. So you might have a different opinion, you might play differently, but I will tell you why I think that my propositions are superior uh, to whatever else you're gonna see. Now let's start on the attack side, we're gonna go straight up from Brimstone towards Viper. Brimstone, I always on attack side buy a Steam Beacon and two Smokes. The reason for that is that you don't want to rely on the Molly in a post plant lineup and Steam Beacon grants incredible boost in a potential execute. So whenever I try, I go for the Steam Beacon and two smokes, I incentivize my team in ranked to go full five man push with the Steam Beacon. Remember, Steam Beacon works on pistols. Many people will tell you that you're stupid and it doesn't work on pistols when it does. You equip the gun faster, you reload faster, you also can shoot faster with the classic, with the ghost, with the sheriff, with whatever you have. It works on every single gun in the game. It doesn't have to be an automatic gun. So that's um, that's why it's important to have this, in my opinion. And the movement boost just allows you to float the side instantly, right? Uh, two smokes, because obviously you need to just the, comp uh, the, the complete uh, utility with three smokes here. And you will not be able to buy uh, a molly if you just go for one smoke. I always go for shields as well, because when you have mobility buff from the... Uh, from the um, Steam Beacon and ability to shoot fast with the Classic is an absolutely unreal gun. Now, for Omen on attack, I think there's only one good buy and there's literally nothing else that you should buy in my opinion. And that is going for the Paranoia, a second smoke and your shield. Like that's it. That, that's what you need on attack to be flexible and to be helpful to your team. You have as, uh, you have access to the most amount of smokes and paranoia is legit still, and even after the nerf, an incredibly useful piece of utility for initiation on site. If you're not buying paranoia every round while playing Omen, then you are playing Omen incorrectly. So that's why I would never go for any TPs or ghosts or anything because you need that paranoia and obviously you need two smokes. I would rather have a second smoke than a ghost when I play in ranked. Now when it comes to Astro and attack, not many things you can do here because the, the prices are very inflexible. Your one option is to go for two smokes and a ghost, which is good. You, play, uh, you pay exactly 800 and you have access to two smokes, one of the stun or the pole, and you have still a decent gun to take to take into gunfights. So that's one option. And the other option would be to go for four um, full set of stars. So you, have, you buy three stars, but the problem is that costs 450, which essentially leaves you only with a shorty as a possibility. So unless you're going to try to do a smoke train and just woke up somewhere with a shorty, I don't think that's a good buy. So that's about it. And then Harbor, I would say Harbor is a special case because if Harbor is the only smoker in the team, I would say you need to buy Cascades as well. So, so you buy Cove, you buy Shields otherwise. And if you are the only smoker in the team on attack, then I would argue you don't buy Shields, you just go for the two Cascades and the Cove, so you have a full set of utility. Unfortunately, that makes you really weak when it comes to gunfights. And that is a big problem, right? But you're also playing Harbor, which is a big problem in itself. And if you're solo smoking as Harbor, well, good luck then. So try not to be a solo smoker um, on any map as a Harbor. Otherwise, if uh, like if you're not if you if you have another smoker with you, Cove and uh, a Shields is good enough for you to be reliable in the pistol round and make the team easier to plant. Right, make the team easier to plant because of the Cove. Now, when it comes to Viper, only in my eyes, there's only one way you can play Viper on pistol round because it's perfectly, let's say, um, fitting the 800 cash, and that you buy Shields, Snake Bite, and the Orb. And you have access to almost full kit apart from the one snake bite so you're very flexible unfortunately you're less flexible because of all of the nerves that the viper got but it allows you to be 
incredibly versatile in how you approach the pistol round with this kind of set of skills and with the shields which allows you to be a little bit more um aggressive in pistol rounds many people forget that when you have shields it makes you more confident because you can take a gunfight without dying to one pistol round ghost headshot right so that's very important now when it comes to defense we're gonna slide in there's not many differences for brimstone on defense i would always advise to go for the molly and two smokes instead of the steam beacon that you get for the attack because what is very important is that you need to stall a potential um a potential uh, execute and the molly has the highest dps of any molly in the game and is eight seconds long so you're able to completely stop the opponent on pistol round from pushing your side for eight seconds which is enough should be enough for your team to rotate and help you out if the execute is still happening uh now on omen is exactly the same buy as an attack and again there's no other buy in my eyes that you should be going for on omen because you need the paranoia and you need two smokes and if you go for one smoke one ghost and one paranoia like to some degree you're fine but you're very limiting the amount of um, space creation or vision denial that you are able to do on a pistol round. And that is a huge problem if you're the only smoker in the team. So for me, two smokes and a paranoia shields is the only buy for Omen. Astra, same buy as on attack. As I said, not much flexibility here. Just ghost and two stars, not much to say about this. And then Harbor, I would say on defense, even if you're uh, the only smoker in the team, buying um, buying the Cascades is not really that imp important because they have very limited range, so you can't really help your team like in a way, in a meaningful way. The most important piece of your kit is gonna be your uh, signature wave ability that is able to like help over the, over the map, right? And Cove is great for retakes and diffusing the spike, so you need that. In general, when you play Harbor. You're gonna have a problem with stalling anything because the only thing you can do is literally limit the vision from your opponents so you shouldn't be an anchor on any side you should be the rotator so even on pistol defense you should probably not just stay on a side you should be the one that is very flexible on the map and just runs left right left right or, or just straight up plays um, a potential retake uh, with your teammates because that's how important is your cove and then on uh, viper defense side the same attack, the same buy, sorry, as an attack, because it's incredibly versatile, and you have ability to stall a potential executes for up to uh, 20 seconds, because if you activate your wall or the orb on one entrance, that will be 15 seconds smoke, and then you have one of the mollies, which is additional 5 seconds, so you're very, very potent on a pistol round, and also remember that people kind of are not scared anymore of pushing a viper wall, which is great because that will allow you to get more kills. So think about it this way. You have easy access to kills and you don't need a ghost because the uh, DK damage from the wall or the orb makes a classic headshot lethal anyway. Unless one has small shields, but not many people do. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the pistol round uh, guide. This is the third part. Now we're going to do a initiation guide, initiator guide as well, probably tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in comments.